at our favorite Goodwill down the street from our house. We're gonna go in there see if we can find a flip line for a profit. First Goodwill was junk, but this Goodwill, these Nike shoes right here are in rough condition, better condition, they would be worth the pie. They're about 30 bucks. But these Nikes right here are in super good condition, $6.99. Looks like these things are uh, new go for 80 to 90. They don't have their uh, insoles, but I think they're gonna probably go still for 50 bucks. And then these shoes right here, Sabagos, they're also a pretty good brand. Uh, we picked these up and these you sell. I've never seen the boots before and these are in really, really good condition for six, seven bucks. That is also going to be a pickup. Hey, look at what I found. Is that real? Is that real? There's no way that's real. Nah, they ain't got a tag on the inside. <laughs> you lie. How cool would that have been? That would have been pretty cool. If I found a real Prada yeah, in not. Goodwill for $10. Yeah. Man. Prada Prada not real. <laughs> Probably not real. <laughs> I found a uh, money counter. Money counter. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. What's the bottom of that, say? Nothing. That'd been awesome. Flipped it over and it said 925 on it. Yeah, nah, I don't think so. Sure, it looks like silver. No, I'm not thinking it is. Oh, I near a woman. There's a gigantic raccoon. Oh, that's, that's a nice bowl. It's a uh, little jewelry box. Jewelry. No jewelry in it. We've actually sold a, uh, it's not this one. There's, I think this is an un, unbranded jewelry box. Oh no. Wallace Silversmiths. Made in China. I'll look it up, but it's actually in really good condition. It's like hardly any scratches on it. Over in the purse section, they just put out a couple more purses. And Kayla picked up a tiny little, what is that? It's a crop book bag. It's got a little dinosaur on it. Check yeah. him out. And they can get like different kinds. Different kinds. What is that thing called? That is a crock pocket. A crock pocket? <laughs> or a crock pot? <laughs> it's called a crock pot. What? I don't know what they're called. Crock pops. Crock pops? I don't know crock if that's pops. true or not. But that's, that's definitely a cool little find. We are out at our local Goodwill down the street from our house. They open late, five minutes late. And also, the video that you just watched early on was the like four days prior. We found only one or two things that day, so I have a better feeling about today. I think these are actually good right off of that, I'm pretty sure. Team No Cart just won. Team No Cart immediately picked up a pair of Nakta Zooms. Check these out, right off the rip. I think they're good. Nike Zooms? Zooms? Yeah. Hmm. Or they fly? They're your size. You could be a... No? No? Who knows? This thing has a, a price on of 150 bucks. No, not 150 bucks. Possibly. Maybe not. And of course I get the cart that has a little broken wheel. So that'll be exciting throughout the day. Well, that's some good looking copper bottoms down here. That one's got the it's eight bucks though, yeah. For, they usually go for like 20. Um, I just sold a stock pot for 32, but it was in better condition. So eight bucks is a little high. This one's a better one from Clinton, that one's six. And I wish these were like 4.99 or five bucks. I would definitely get it for that, but for that much money, actually, I'm pretty sure that top goes to that one. And that one goes to that one. Which I have never seen. The must be an older one. Maybe not. 8 quart 99B. Nine, nine have to look that one up. Also I don't I don't buy them with any type of wobble. That one's got a pretty heavy wobble in it. But this one's interesting. It has different handles. The worst thing is, is that the actual whole pot is bent to the right. It's almost like it's been smashed. If it wasn't, I would actually pick this up for $8 because it is a revere wear. And any type of different type of revere wear, I would pick up 
Um, these handles I've never seen before. They're the stainless steel handles. But uh, with that being bent, I'm gonna go ahead and let it go. You see my reflection there. That's how, that's how clean it is. Look at that. Over in the jacket section, there's not a lot of people in here today, but also there's not a lot of anything going on in here today. It doesn't seem, it seems like they've rearranged. And when they rearrange, usually they don't do much of putting new stuff out. Um, so, but we have found so far a pair, what is that? Joseph A. Banks Reserve. Check that out. That's old. A black diamond is like a, I think that would be back in like the 80s or 90s probably. It is a, doesn't have a tag, which makes me think that it's going to be reversible. And if you have tags and it's reversible, it's going to be inside the pocket, like right there. So this is a black diamond sugar bush USA uh, vintage ski jacket and it would definitely be reversible so you can be teal or you could be black yellow purple and teal that's pretty neat isn't it you think it's worth money yeah it's made in the usa it's pretty nice size large thing is they've been pricing their jackets up high if it's six bucks i don't know it's only have a tag it's tagless no it's not it's right there 5.99 i don't know y'all getting that for 5.99 i think it's in super good condition I'm thinking it's worth $5.99. What did you find? In the kids section. That is a My Little Pony. Okay, so this is this is supposed to be up there. Okay. So that's just it just fell down. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So I went and scanned it. What? Like, am I looking at something wrong? My Little Pony 2016 new new My Little Pony Guardians and Harmony Queen Queen. Spike the Dragon. Oh, is that probably why? Because he's got Spike the Dragon. Is that a My Little Pony thing? No, it's 70 bucks. That's crazy. This is why you scan everything. You did so good. Yeah, because I bet you so many people just passed up on that. We just got to somehow jiggle that. There you go. Jiggle it back in the... It's one of those games. Remember that game? As a kid, you had to jiggle it back in the area. So, good job. How much is it? It doesn't say. Oh, three ninety Four bucks. That ain't too bad, look at that. Easy 70 bucks, I'm telling you, anybody can do this. Walk into a Goodwill, pay four bucks, walk out, $70 My Little Pony. Simply Southern, are we, uh, unless Simply Southern is brand new for us, we stop picking it up unless it's a crazy cool design because it doesn't really sell that well for us anymore. It used to sell super good. I don't know if they're just super saturated now, but we stopped picking those up. Yeah, VBS, perfect. We're collecting gigantic plushes for VBS. That's Toys R Us, too. Oh, nice. Dang, he's probably old. He's 2012. This is from SeaWorld. SeaWorld? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cute. Yeah. Is he scuba? Yeah. Yeah? That's nice. This is SeaWorld. Two bucks, you can't go wrong with two dollars. I thought we thought they were more than that. Super Mario with the tag? What? 2020, four years old. Shame he doesn't have Mario. I don't think he would probably be worth two bucks. I don't think so. Usually we're not plush hunters, but today, eight bucks for Luigi. Ah, uh, two bucks. Yeah. So there's a ton of Wilton pans here, and they're actually all brand new because they still have the inserts. And instead of going through every single one, I kind of just go through eBay and I look from high to low from high to low it looks like star wars pokemon mario they all go pretty good uh, other than that mini actually goes for like 30 bucks and then also the other ones would be the um there's ones that look like uh, tree stumps that go for like a hundred dollars but other than that these like the hockey player the little bunny none of these really poo doesn't go for a whole bunch it's rare that they're new i will tell you that but none of them go for a ton of money uh, like at all so these 3d ones sometimes go for more money but i looked that one up that one doesn't graduation not too much there but if they were like mario mini um or something like that we'll scan the poo and it all depends that's a 3d poo we went for 35 so but mini usually goes for pretty good and jeeps and trucks also go for good money it's the avengers thing mm -hmm. it's like yeah a book. that's pretty cool how much is it I guess it doesn't a book. have a price, so I guess it's a price for a book. Nice. All right. Well, I think that's a whatnot all day long. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. In the pants section, going through because we're running out of sections to look for. And the pants is one of my last sections that I go to. 
is these right here are actually some really nice 511. 511 is a really good brand name, especially for their pants. Uh, not so much for their shirts or anything. I mean, their shirts still sell, but their pants sell the best. Uh, 511 Tactical. These are 42 by 31. They're the newer style because they have the, um, they're blended, I think, with polyester. I can tell because I used to wear the older style, but this is a newer one. They do have a threads coming out right here. I'm going to look up the model number to see if it's even worth the buy, but usually 511 pants, even pre-owned, go for like 30 bucks. I found a squish metal on the floor. Really? Mm -hmm. well, I mean, I think it just jumped out of his cart. Is this... <laughs> <laughs> Is yeah. it really? Oh wow! I know, for only a dollar ninety nine. Can't beat that. Cow. Where it is? It's got two tags. It's a two tagger. It's a two tagger. Yeah, Squishmallow for a dollar nine. He's super yeah. clean. There's a rare one that doesn't have this right here, XOXO. It uh -huh. goes for like two hundred and fifty. Oh. Yeah, pretty crazy. But we'll take the Squishmallow. They're, they're like selling from Australia. What is it? United Kingdom. I don't know. It's like I'm. I'm not. Oh, a it's Harry Potter. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. I don't know exactly. You don't know what this is from Harry Potter? No. Well, wow. no. I got a clue. I feel like you, those don't even come out. Oh yeah, they do. Uh, people in the comments are like, I can't believe you don't know that from Harry Potter. How much do they sell for? Twenty-four. I mean, they want seven dollars for it. So brand new, it went seventy-nine ninety-nine. Oh wow. Is rare. Mm -hmm. Rare, like the steak. Yeah. Um, some of them don't have the keys, and then they sell for like ten bucks. Fourteen ninety. Where they say poster for? Yeah, I looked for a poster inside, and I couldn't find. So we it. don't have the poster. No. Mm -mm. Unless it's under here. Did you pick this up? I did. You did. Is okay. it inside of here? I didn't look inside of there. Oh no, we're we're invested now. Negative, no poster. I'm gonna say probably not without the poster for seven bucks. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, perfect. I agree. Now I can't get this thing back together. What is going, What is that? Scented garden. Is it signed? Huh. What is this? Hey. Hey. What is that? Made in the United States. American made. Who would you use that for? It looks like an avocado. Can you get this in the box? Okay, there you go. You gonna put the key back? It's two-sided tape. It just sticks to your fingers. Yeah, I know. Oh my goodness. Two hundred and twenty-nine dollars. But see, he doesn't have the XOXO heart, but it is the tall one. This one might be older, but they're all listed that high. Um, I'm thinking, I don't know, we'll see. I can't find this one with the work. Used 190. Oh, wow. I could probably pick this off of here and turn them into that. No. No. He'll probably go for like 20. Department 56, no big Walt Disney. Watch both ends at the same time. I only went for $12.50. Mm. And that one had the box. It says parts. inbox read parts only. Is it supposed to move? What's the underside of that look like? He's got a crack in him. And this one's like... Falling down? Yeah. Wait a second. It has little things on it. I don't understand why it looks so yellow. But they all look yellow. Yeah. Weird looking. I mean, what do you think? 13 bucks into probably 60? That's gonna be five times your money. Yeah. Okay. I think it'd be hard to ship. No. Nah. Well, you just gotta make sure that the. Um, oh, that's a baby reveal that's thing. That's a baby oh reveal goodness. thing. Get what are you doing? Here. All right, well, 13 bucks into probably 60. Ours is in good condition. He's supposed to come off, I'm guessing. Mm hmm Because there's a hole. Then we do have one small crack back there, but it seems like... Other than that, I mean, with, the, with having these on there and stuff? Yeah, a lot of them sold. These were knocked over. Yeah. So there you go. Good, good find. We got out of line because we saw some new clothing coming out. Kayla runs over and immediately finds a Patagonia small. I'm actually guessing that this is going to be new. Um, and the reason why I'm guessing that's going to be new one has no stains whatsoever on it and two it still has this tag on it 
which nobody in their right mind is wearing a sweatshirt with this poking you in the back. Look how sharp that thing is. That's the first thing that comes off or gets cut. So actually, I think that that's a, like new. Look, there's not a stain on it. Yeah. That is a good find. Man, you find everything today. What's up? Good job. This isn't. This is not mink. It's a mink. So stalking the guy putting out the stuff worked because I saw this in here, and it is a Bruder Mac dump truck and it's in like excellent condition they sell look, even the little hood comes up isn't that cool, that is cool. it's from actually made in germany and uh it goes for 80 bucks new but used so it goes for probably like 40 bucks so for five dollars i'll clean it up that thing's in like brand new condition That's really this cool. is metal too no it's not plastic just hard plastic hmm. very cool find so we don't get into toys a whole bunch, but this just caught my eye. It was super clean, super cool looking, had a lot of detail. It's from the brand Bruder. Be on the lookout for other stuff made by them. Some of their stuff can go as high as hundreds and hundreds of dollars. All right, so one of our better days in the Goodwill, it was $41 for everything. I did round up. I know a lot of people don't round up. We still round up. They say it goes to the veterans. Look, we're not saying it doesn't, but I'm just saying that we still round up. Now, the thing is, is this in here, it's gonna go for, that's Kayla's fine. That alone, say if it only goes for 50 bucks or 55 bucks, that's gonna be our money, plus the fees and taxes right there. Boop, that means this entire thing right here is going to be profit. Now, actually, we spent less than, um, yeah, because we bought 40, stuff for the- Yeah, we bought stuff for the church. She said these were actually mismarked. They're supposed to be like $10 a piece. Yeah, but she was Did like- she charge you $10? No, she charged oh. me $1.99. And she even said the Squishmallow. These are going to the church, then after that, we usually actually just give them away. So yeah. that will be a wash. But the Bruder Mack truck made in Germany, I saw this in the guy's car and I was like, man, that's a really good condition. It just looked like a good dump truck. Super good condition, brand new. These are actually, I thought they were uh, 80 bucks. They're actually over $100 brand new, which is insane for, I think, a, a toy but uh now they still go for about 50 dollars pre-owned this is the avengers book right here and it looks like this thing goes for probably online it goes for 50 bucks but pre-owned probably about 30 dollars this will be in our whatnot sale and the big squishmallow if this squishmallow which squishmallows are funny if it didn't have this this would sell for 80 bucks which again in my mind is crazy she also said this one was mismarked but did go ahead and bring it up at 199 it should have been more expensive but uh, this probably, we're gonna sell this on our whatnot again. Seems like people really like plushes. This one's in super good condition. So probably about a good 20 bucks on him. Then Kayla snatched up real quick. I think it's brand new. The nice Patagonia Sherpa size small quarter zip pullover. Patagonia, that is pretty good. And then we had this, this, oh, I forgot about the old, uh, oh, yeah. the My Little Pony. Kayla again, actually today, you you nailed it like it was pretty much i was just in there talking to people and then you found all the good stuff uh she scanned this again uh 3.99 the there is box damage to it just a little bit back there but even with box da box damage i'm still thinking what 50 bucks 60 bucks so if anybody's keeping count we're probably well in the hundreds of dollars at this point just by walking in and we were in the goodwill we got here at nine o'clock and i think right now is 10 46 so we were in there for an hour and 46 minutes which actually is long for us and then the vintage black diamond reversible jacket this is probably going to go for about 30 bucks we also might sell this on our whatnot it seems like people in our whatnot actually really enjoy the clothing we had a whatnot show that we did and a lot of clothing was in it and it all sold so this one also might be in there link down for that down below but that ain't too shabby back in the house we got some fan people to thank for sending us some really awesome stuff paul you sent us it's kind of hard to see but it is like a mustang meet in west virginia from 1999 which is really cool actually when i first looked at it i was looking at the mustangs and i was like it's really weird that there's just no newer mustangs then i saw down here it was from 1999 so there obviously wouldn't be any newer mustangs i'm thinking about putting it up there above the door because it is a really cool picture thank you so much paul and thank you so much for judy for this awesome uh sticker right here that will also be going up on the toolbox kathy thank you so much for sending kayla a whole bunch of those beads we do appreciate it she's going to use a good bit of those and jewelry making and then the little packs that she makes for people to make their own bracelets so a really good day out there thrifting actually one of the better days like i said the earlier video that you saw was i think four or five days prior to the video that you just watched we just kind of had to like step back from thrift stores for a second we had did the uh, storage unit 
and then went back into the thrift stores because honestly, sometimes it wears on you. Sometimes you get a little discouraged, you go into the thrift stores like every day and you find maybe one or two items and then it's right place, right time. We were at the right place again at the right time. They were turning, like pulling out good things and a lot of it was like looking things up also. It wasn't like I didn't really know that that you know, dump truck was gonna be worth like 50 bucks. And Kayla looking up the My Little Pony brand new 2016, whatever that was, 70 bucks or 50 bucks. So a lot of it was actually doing our homework in the store. The good thing about the Goodwill is you do have the time to do that. You do have time to actually look on your phone, figure things out, and then see what the sell through rate is. I think it's much harder to do with yard sales. Yard sales are a little bit more fast paced, actually not a little bit, it's a lot fast paced because you don't have a buggy to put your stuff in to go in the corner and look at stuff. You really can't do that at a yard sale uh, other than if you just can't do it. So it's much easier, that's where we got most of our education from was actually going to Goodwills, looking stuff up, taking our time. We were in there for an hour and 40 minutes which is usually way longer than usual but that ain't bad because we walked out with the good stuff. I do appreciate everybody that watches. Remember if you're not subscribed, subscribe, comment down below, like the video, you know I will always get you on the next one.